Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we will study Pakistan Environment Protection Act 1997. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet and do like, share and comment on the video. Have you ever wondered that why should we not throw garbage or transfer it to different locations or countries? Why should we save our earth or why should we protect our wildlife? So, to in this video, we will study the reason. There is an act known as PEPA, an act to provide for the protection, conservation, rehabilitation and improvement of environment for the prevention and control of pollution and promotion of sustainable development. We can also remember it with PEPA. This act which was enacted on 6 December 1997 provides a framework for implementation of national conservation strategies, initial environmental examination, environment impact assessment and protection and conservation of species and renewable sources. There are various institutions established under Pakistan Environment Protection Act such as Pakistan Environment Protection Council, Establishment of Pakistan Environmental Protection Agency, Provincial Environmental Protection Agencies and Establishment of Environmental Tribunals under Section 20. There are salient features of various sections of PEPA 1997. It undertakes inquiries of investigation into environmental issues either on its own or by any complaint. The federal agency can summon or enforce the attendance of any person and require him to supply the information or document for the conduct of any inquiry or investigation into any environmental issue. They can enter and inspect under the authority of a search warrant issued by environmental magistrate. The federal and provincial governments have designated senior civil judges as environmental magistrates to take all contraventions punishable in respect of handling hazardous substances and pollution caused by motor vehicles. No proponent shall commence construction unless he or she has filed IEE, Initial Environmental Examination, and if project is likely to cause adverse environmental impact, then EIA would be filed with provincial or federal agency. There is prohibition of import of hazardous waste under Section 13. The pollution limit should not exceed the standards set by NEQs or by Park EPA. There are various environmental related important provisions under Pakistan Environment Protection Act such as certification of environmental laboratory, pollution control under Act. In order to protect environment and in Acts, its acts, the Federal Environment Protection Agencies have given their power to provincial EPA and provincial EPAs have given their power to local government EPA. So I hope this video is clear. If you don't understand any concept, do comment in the comment section and ask the question and like the video, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.